Not my phone. No. What's going on, everybody? Today we're playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, the new Pokemon game. Oh boy, are we excited. In the age of ancients. Just kidding. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. You're talking pretty well for a Pokemon. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Yeah, there's always like too few options to really pick from. Sure, why not? Go with that one. What is thy name? Thine artful mother hath donned heavy upon me. <laughs> All is correct and as it should be. Well, I mean, that, again, give me more options for diversity, but sure, why not? Heavy. Soon thou shalt find thyself. Uh, this is hard to read. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures, humans call Pokemon. Heavy. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Well, I want to be the very best, you know, like like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test, but to train them, that's my cause. So I'll travel across the land just searching, you know, far and wide. Wow, that's not like Legend of Zelda at all. Okay, now it's more like Kingdom Hearts. Not my phone. No. Glitch, glitch, glitch. All right, Mr. Jack, your phone over here. So what's that about? What's that about, Arceus? Oh, okay, he's giving it back. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, this story makes perfect sense so far. Oh, thank God I have my phone. Now he's cradling me like a baby. Oh, good, good. Did that did that clear up all your questions? In all seriousness, though, this game. Looks like Breath of the Wild meets Pokemon, so it's kind of an open world where you get to actually see the Pokemon. Oh god, wake up! Uh, do wake up, won't you? <gasps> oh my goodness, they're so cute. Are you alive, my boy? What is on your head? There's a Mount Doom in the background over there. You gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Uh, who are you, or where am I? Let's go with where am I. Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did the shock of the fall somehow addle your memory? I don't know, you gotta tell me what addle means. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to... I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have someone around here you could stay? I'm gonna turn down the sound a bit. Kind of blaring in my ear. Uh, I don't know. So, you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Ah, uh, somehow, I'll guess. I 
This music is very odd choice. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew. Boom. And Plish Plash. None of those are your names. You're breaking the Pokemon rules here. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I just caught up these three little runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. Ah, my, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Well, yes, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh-ho, so you're called Heavy. That name has quite the ring to it, I imagine. It must have some lovely meaning. Well, uh, sure, thanks man, I appreciate it. Oh, but I do apologize, I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. You know, I'm something of a Pokemon professor myself. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three, but... Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon! Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but you think you can help me round them up? I beg you. Wait there, you three! Alright, time to learn how to move. Alright, we have camera. Cool. Moving. Looking it down is running. Pretty straightforward so far. There's a boat. Can I use the boat? Looks like when I press B, I crouch. And this is my bag. Well, I can save. Yay, nailed it. Let's check out what settings we have. I like fast. That's cool. Uh, auto save. Let's turn that off. All right, background music. Yeah, we can turn that way down. Sound effects are cool. I like Pokemon cries. Let's hear them, Pokemon's. Save and exit. All right, let's go. Cause I wanna be the very best you do like no one ever was. Don't know where the Pokemon are, but there's a shining glowing spot. Yep, there's a glowing beeping object over there. Is it a bleeper? Is this, is this what happened to my phone? Yeah. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Well, I already told you that's my mission. All right, I know I'm in tutorial land, so I can't really judge it just yet, but let's go get our starter Pokemon and get our adventure actually underway. Man, I can't get over your hat. Ugh, alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm just not the best at this sort of thing, you see? I'd love if you could go at it. But perhaps I should tell you about these three first. Ah, now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using sharp feathers. Alright, so we have a grass flying type. Crew. Centaquil, who's flippin' adorable. The fire burning on Centaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Boom. I, these sound effects are strange choices. That Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott, which I guess I should probably pick just because that name is so funny. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Mishplash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. Know about catching Pokemon. 
There you are, my boy. Pokeballs. That is a weird looking Pokeball. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. Jeez, you gave me 50 Pokeballs? Well, I guess I can miss a couple of times. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah. But that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at Pokemon, and... Why? The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as it can be. And with that... You've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awful grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, let the ball fly. It's quite that simple. Though, far be it for me to say, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in the area. Yeah, it's very simple. Even a child could do it. I can't. Alright, Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button, be ready a Pokeball, and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do. Use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully. Release the ER to catch or to throw the Pokeball. If it hits Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied a Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Alright. Is the first one I catch the one I'm stuck with? Do I have to catch all three of them as I practice here? Well, let's find out. I don't know how close I can get before it's too close. Let's see, I guess we've got those little rings around it, that's a good sign. He's not moving too much, but go for it. One. Well, it only rocked once. Oh, good. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for Pokemon catching business heavy. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. I mean, should I be? These guys are like little babies. You're not even moving. I get, you really want to be caught, I guess. One. I guess I got rid of the three rock thing. I can hardly believe it, Heavy. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap up the sharpest, shall we? I don't understand how the words to come out of your mouth. Oh, there he is. Where's the Santa Quill? He's looking right here. He's coming right for us! He's coming right for us. Oh, he didn't stay in the ball. I guess it had to show us that. Ah, yes. I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another good old boy. Hey. You stop, stop that, stop that moving. Yeah, check out your little angry fire, that's cool. That's cool that he's just kind of sitting there. Right in his face. One. There you go, got him that time. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. See, I thought he caught them. Maybe he was just he trapped them? I don't know what he. How can you lose them if you, if you own them? You see, the three Pokemon you've caught have only just arrived at the village to help our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd be coming. But I must say, Heavy, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it you can catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Yeah, show my Arceus phone. Check it out, it's a new model. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an Arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first record of its Pokemon. A Pokedex, if you will. Ah, there it is. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. 
Yes, a proper Pokedex, which is the invention of Professor Oak, despite the fact that this is taking place seemingly many years before Professor Oak exists. Anyways, yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokémon found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokémon, one must of course catch them. And there lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokéballs may have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Even you, a person of clear talent for catching Pokémon, your goal is to seek out every Pokémon, and mine is to have all those Pokémon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one out? You've convinced me. Usually those conversation choices don't really matter. Then, whoever and whatever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've got a Pokémon... We have a Poke... Blech. We have a Pokédex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokémon back to the village. It's not under that creepy cloud, is it? Then we'll sort out the lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me, onward to Jubilife Village. Yeah, yeah, that cloud's kind of creeping me out too, so I'm glad it's not just me. It's a mountain of doom! Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokémon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him to the village for a bit. I have a really strict HOA here. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come a long way. Well, I guess that's all I get to read. This road we're on now is known to locals as the Canal... Man, you gotta read fast. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's so much yet. I don't know if I have to walk slower or what. Now, apparently I'm not supposed to read this though, so I'm gonna stop trying. Now that impressive building up ahead is called Galaxy Hall. I'll just read the first part, I guess. I'm not sure exactly when this takes place, but if Pokeballs are a new invention, I don't know how Pokedexes exist. Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me in the canteen? It's just past the bridge here, to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. A lot of explanations for how a map works, but alright, thanks. I think I could have figured that out. Head to the Wallflower, which serves as the village canteen. Dude, you have green hair. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflower for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Wow. Thanks. Oh, is that a rival? Or is this a friend? Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you here. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you met Professor Lavatron? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokémon do get away at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokémon myself. I was hit by a Pokémon... by a Pokémon move called Thundershock not long ago, and had to take to my bed. But the Professor, well... 
I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Oh, I guess this is Professor talking. Professor! But everything will be quite all right now. Heavy here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Oh, look at the eyes change on that. Uh, excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine's permission. Ooh, attitude. I'll allow it. Captain Silene. Wow, serious face. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Or Selene. I'm going to say Silene just because of the spelling. All these names are so odd. Professor Laviton. 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 Professor Laviton. Laviton it is. Professor Laviton has... <laughs> Professor Laviton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now you seem, now it seems, he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be 15 or so? Quite old enough to work for your keep? We can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Aho, uh -oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you have plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat my meal alone. So I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Are you a robot? Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation, then, eh? Boom. Been the old chum. The usual potato machi, if you please. But make it three today. Who are you talking to? Oh, I guess he's talking to the guy inside the place. Wonderful stuff, Benji. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Professor Laviton? Where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift? They have a very eloquent vocabulary for people who are seemingly in, like, ancient times. Our new friend fell right out of it. Then why didn't I land on the mountain? You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomenon. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here. Oh, see, another word I'm not going to pronounce. Hisu region. Hisoi. Haisoi. Haisu. Haisu region. I have no idea how to pronounce that word. I am sorry. I'm going to call it uh, Hisu. Hisoi. He. I have no idea. I can ask Google, see if Google knows. That's hilarious. All right, I'm just going to skip it, because I don't know how to say that name. That there are, in the grass, in the forest, by water, or wherever they like, our job is to survey cores to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Yeah, look how terrifying the little cute ones we caught were. Oh, so scary. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what signs of wonderful things they can do. But that's where Heavy will come in. He successfully caught three Pokémon. Three of them, in quick order, you understand. Nobody in Galaxy Team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokémon research in earnest. Three? We've had a hard time catching even one when a wild Pokémon came after us. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokémon that fled the, to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Man, Benji. So racist. The Captain just ordered ten whole portions of Potato Mochi. You know, the slow process on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. Well, I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good Captain's stress eating soon enough. 
Now, how did it feel heavy? So she didn't want us to judge her by how much food she eats. Now nah, it would make sense. And think, if you make it to Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides all its members needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Nom 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 nom. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember Heavy has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry. I have complete confidence in Heavy's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Heavy, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters here. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you on tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate. Perhaps your death in the wilds. Rizz, 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 rizz. Captain Silene's somewhat like Hisu, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of Utahns. We sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both good night. Now, Futon does not mean the same thing with Japanese context as it does to us. Yes, good night. You know, we have the Futon that's a couch bed. Their Futon is like a sleeping bag. A rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. All right, well, time to go to sleep. Time to go to sleep. Sleep all day. Oh no, more cinemas. Can I just go to sleep? Can 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 I just go to sleep? Can I just go to sleep? Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work. If you read them any time, press the up button. Yeah, yeah, figured out the menu already. Oh gosh. Oh, just seriously. Yeah, I already figured out how to save. But yes, good time to go ahead and save. Well, that's the first part of the game. And I haven't even gotten out of the tutorial, it feels like. I don't know how much more of this there is left before the world opens up, but I'm definitely going to play some more of this. I hope you guys are enjoying Pokemon Legends Arceus, as always. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.